Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain. They said it was supposed to be sunny. But I'm guessing we're gonna go for the adventure anyways, uh, you guys will see. Alright, here we are in the area. Alright. So let's see if I can find the entrance here. The person told me to walk this way. And I have like no uh, cell phone reception at all in this area. Should be pretty obvious what I'm doing, right guys? I'm going to fly the drone. <laughs> to my knowledge, this should be okay here. Couldn't find any uh, hiking buddies that were, had the availability today to go here, so might as well check it out. All right, signs are always a good thing. All right, according to it, it's this way here. Man, I was joking before whether or not I should get bear spray for the places I need to go for the uh, hike. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm thinking I should get bear spray afterwards. Uh, again, the weather, it looked like it could rain, so I didn't go to the uh, waterfall area that I was interested in. So I figured I'd try this because it was actually supposed to be a pretty easy and fast hike to my knowledge. Now, I didn't bring my extra battery because, as you guys know, that one was bulging out, so I don't want to take the risk of uh, flying that, even though we're out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, in that case too, I wouldn't want to lose like, you know, the whole drone over that. Kind of funny in terms of safety actually, because um, for all of you who have seen my like other hiking videos, normally what I've done is I practice the uh, drone uh, locally in an open area just to get practice. So by the time I come out here, I'm more confident in being able to fly it with certain conditions and all that. But because I can't fly it because of that ridiculous law, I don't really get the, uh, the practice before I come out now. I mean, in many ways, imagine it like a sports athlete where you're not allowed to like do any kind of cardio or anything like that before you go into your match. It's actually semi uh, steep here. Actually, I guess technically since there's no signal or anything, that should be better for the drone flying, less interference. That should be the theory, correct? Ooh, it's a lot of broken down trees. Or branches, whatever you want to call it. I can't check the internet now, but I was reading one of you guys' comments just about um, like the laws and stuff like that, like the drone laws, how people think it's silly, and they're using an example on how apparently before uh, here in Canada they were really paranoid or made like satellites illegal, like some of that too. I was trying to look it up a bit. I think it just had to do with um, channels or something like that. Like for the fact that the satellite can get, um, I guess, free uh, TV, that they made that illegal. And then some people were arguing something about like, um, well, they're technically getting uh, satellite images or video TV feeds from countries that we don't even serve. So that's not, uh, I guess, correct. And I guess like, I, I didn't read everything about it, but I guess eventually they just said, okay, satellites are okay. I don't know, it's kind of an interesting thought in terms of, I guess, uh, I guess being afraid of a new technology or trying to control it in such a way where eventually I guess people just won I guess just by uh, putting stuff out there and making their voices heard. I guess that's good to know for like for the drone stuff anyways for everyone like putting out the information out there just to educate the public and all that to hopefully promote the change. Would I ever dare to fly the drone through something like that? <laughs> It'd be kind of a cool shot though. Alright, no internet but the GPS still works so I think I'm about two kilometers away or so. Oh, trail split. I will go this way, <laughs> according to this uh, the sign and this uh, map anyways with the Google Maps. I felt some uh, water drip in my head. I was like, no, it's raining, but it's just from uh, that. <laughs> Looks like the sun's more uh, prominent here. Actually, when I think about it, uh, this place is actually kind of in between two places where I've already taken a uh, drone shot, so it's kind of interesting to be in the, the middle. I probably won't be able to get as high of a shot because the elevation isn't as high here. Uh, but for me, anyways, that's what I use a drone for, uh, to capture uh, videos and so forth, to get the perspectives that you wouldn't normally be able to get. And looks like we're almost there. Holy cow, this island actually looks a lot bigger than I thought it would be, uh, just based on some of the pictures and stuff I saw. 
What in the world? All right, here we are. Okay, I guess I have to find a uh, flat spot to take off of here. Where can I find a flat spot? Oh, the guess. 8 PL or 16 PL, people. Because <laughs> I don't have the extra battery, so again, I'm still in the same position as before where I don't have really the, the luxury of flying it up and bringing it back down. Uh, let's go for eight, maybe? Uh, we'll see. I'll tell you guys afterwards once I figure it out. It was fun. It's been a while too. I ended up did changing the filters. First I did an 8PO and then a 16PO because I thought it was too bright. Even though I had the one battery, like, no, oh, I don't want to waste this opportunity. So hopefully I got some uh, good shots, which you guys would have seen by now. Oh, I did it just in time too. Now the next people can enjoy the uh, island. You see how that worked out? Did I harm anybody? Was the drone crazy? Why can't everyone just share it and have fun like there? Just like those guys were playing their little RC cars. I can imagine for all of you who fly without like cameras and stuff like you just want to fly for fun that's kind of ridiculous if they make you like walk all the way here or come all the way here just to fly something so again yeah hopefully people will open up their minds hopefully videos like these will uh, help them too which makes me think maybe I should start uploading more of the 4k versions of the drone videos just again to show everybody the drone is not necessarily like a military weapon and all that okay a lot of people just use them as everyday cameras and everything like that nowadays Thank you guys for your continued support as well. I know a lot of you guys thank me for making the videos, but uh, thank you guys for reassuring me that there's, <laughs> you know, there's people who realize like how silly those uh, interim laws are. So it's nice to know not everyone's like a tech phobia, or in this case, like a drone phobia. Oh, it's gonna take a while for me to commute back. So I think that's about wraps it up for the day for the vlogging. All right, see you guys later.